You'll need tile adhesive. It comes ready mixed or you can mix powder adhesive with water yourself. Make sure you use the right kind of adhesive for the tiles that you're using. In a wet environment like a shower, it's essential that a waterproof adhesive is used. We're going to use a ready mixed adhesive. It states on the tub how many square metres of tile in the tub will cover. If your layouts will include the edges of the tiles being seen in the room, why not use a tile trim like this to provide a practical, smooth and round edge finish? Tile trim is available in a wide range of colours and profiles for all types of bathroom and kitchen uses. Corners are also available. If you use a tile trim, it needs to be fitted at the same time as you fix the tiles. Use a notch trowel or a notch spreader to spread the adhesive onto the wall. Start spreading the adhesive where you'll be fixing the first few tiles. Don't cover the entire wall at this stage because the adhesive will start to form a skin after about 20 minutes. Apply about one square meter at a time. Ensure that the strips of adhesive formed by the notch trowel or the notch spreader all run in the same direction. This will form an even bed of adhesive under the tiles when they are fixed. Fix the first tile into position with its sides against the horizontal and vertical battens. Push the tile firmly into the adhesive and twist the tile slightly to help make sure that the adhesive is in good contact with the back of the tile. Fix the second tile in position and place the tile spacer at the top and the bottom of the joint. The top spacer will be left in position and grouted over. But because we're tiling off of a batten, we can only use the spacer like a peg for the time being. Continue to fix all of the hole tiles, applying adhesive and using spacers as you go. Check that the corners of all adjacent tiles are flush with each other. If one of the corners is raised or below the surface of the others, it will show up when the joints are grouted. Wipe off any surplus adhesive as you go using a damp cloth or sponge. If you let it dry, it will become much harder to remove later. Wipe any surplus adhesive out of the tile joints too. This will help when the time comes to grout the tiles. Occasionally, lift the tile to check contact between the adhesive and the tile. At least 80% contact between each tile and adhesive is essential in wet areas. Once all the hole tiles are fixed, it's time to start filling in the corners with cut tiles. If you have any obstacles like pipes to tile around, you can learn how to do this by watching our film, How to Tile Around Obstructions. As mentioned earlier, walls are rarely exactly straight, so each cut tile will probably be a slightly different size. So make sure you measure and cut each tile individually. Measure each space at both ends of the tile and remembering to allow for the width of the grout joint, mark the measurements onto the tile using the tile marker. Then use a steel rule to draw a cut line on the tile. We're going to use a flatbed tile cutter to cut the tiles. See our film How to Cut Tiles for more information on the different types of tile cutters you can use for the job. Mark up the tile and insert it into the cutter so that the tile is flat on the bed of the cutter and the cut line is lined up with the cutter wheel. Lower the handle to bring the wheel into contact with the tile. Apply light pressure to the handle and score the tile. Next, use the built-in tile snapper to apply pressure to the tile and snap the tile. The amount of pressure that you need to use will vary according to the type and thickness of the tile that you're cutting. Now take the cut tiles and fix them into position, remembering to include the tile spacers. Apply the adhesive to the back of the tile when fixing cuts. This is cleaner and easier than trying to apply the adhesive into a small gap on the wall. If any of the tiles are slightly too big, you can reduce the size using the tile file. Simply file the cut edge until the tile is the right size for the gap. If your cut tile is too big and you need to take off more than you can achieve with a tile file, but less than you can in a tile cutter, Score the tile with the tile cutter 
and then use tile nippers like these to nibble away at the tile. You can then smooth the edge using the tile file. Fix all of the corner cuts and any cuts at the top of the tiling. Once the adhesive is set, we can remove the temporary battens. Then we can cut and fix the bottom row of tiles, and once they're set, that's the tiling done.